Rising Front is a new World War Battle Simulator that just released on Steam. Now, I've already made a video on this game and it turns out the game, uh, well, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try my very best to create my own scenario. This could be an absolute disaster, but there's only one way to find out. Let's call it, uh, British, uh, oh, meat charge wow let's give this a go so if we look at the map here we are that's my camera and let's just make sure these guys have got a lot of machine gun nests and to make sure like the guys are like kind of funneled into that as well we can get like a bunch of barbed wire and then we can do the same thing on the other side i wonder can i get a machine gun like here as well i'm not sure but we're, we're gonna find out and another one in there these guys are just gonna be packing machine guns it's gonna be savage now we could also stick down a bunch of landmines yeah so there's quite a lot of landmines here. Um, unlucky if you step on one. Now, I'm pretty happy with that trench formation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to record troop movements. This is the first time I've clicked this, so I don't know how it works, but we're, we're going to find out. Two hours later. Oh, that's what... Okay, 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 I understand. Uh, yeah, these guys are just going to line the trenches. This works really well. It works so well. Like, look at this. This is really easy to create your own scenario. Do they get on the machine guns? Yes, they do get on the machine guns. Look at this. That's the most important thing. Okay, so some of them are still filling in. They all march in formation into position. So if we inspect the line, it looks like the Germans are... It looks like the Germans are ready for battles. So I think what we do is we spawn in all of the allies and we just make them charge over the top. Ah, and I could also spawn in like some initial artillery barrage. I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna call it in like not necessarily all over all over these guys But maybe like close to them and in between them so that it doesn't just like kill all of them But spawn in a bunch of Brits over here like this. Oh my god. Look at them all coming in Okay, so the artillery barrage has already begun So the Germans are already getting softened up before the Brits attack as they would have done in real life Let's just quickly look over here at the Brits. Uh, yeah, as you can see they've all just spawned in um, And they're a little bit overlapping. So let's just see how quickly these guys begin Begin to flash out and attack the enemy here. Yeah, this is very quickly gonna be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of British soldiers. There's that German artillery. Look at that British charge. The first shots are being taken here, boys. Things are about to get very, very hectic. That's a lot of men. Should we call in some more? Why not? Let's get some Canadian reinforcements in here. Let's see if they can break through the German lines. Bro, this is actually really impressive. By the way, if you are wondering how the game can handle this many units, you need to go watch my other Rising Front gameplay video. I put thousands, thousands of units at the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't think these Brits have a chance here, by the way. Let's just look at this from the German perspective, particularly from like, I mean, this guy's pretty safe in there, isn't he? But I want to see like from one of the machine gun bunkers. I mean, ah, oh, no, he got headshot, bro. That was savage. Does somebody else jump on the machine gun now that he's died? Oh my God, he is he actually going to do it? Ah, oh, yes, he's only gone and done it. Let's just look at the battlefield here. Yeah, pretty much all of the British units are dead, unsurprisingly. Now, one thing to make this even more interesting, by the way, what I can do, if I just pause the game, you can create your own loadout. So, of course, this is British, so let's go for the Enfield. So, stick grenade is the only type of grenade we got at the moment. Even though it's German, we'll take it and, I guess, just a knife, a bayonet, or whatever. Oh my god, I spawned behind enemy lines. Oh no, I spawned as a- I'm a German! Ah! Of course, I'm doing a German scenario. So, I spawned in as a German with a British loadout. That's interesting. So, look at this. You can then actually run through your own battle. I mean, Look at this. It's actually really, really, really impressive. The units all get up and uh, get... I, I mean, these guys aren't even within firing range, and I don't think they'll even need to be. Did I get that kill or not? This guy here. Die. Okay, boys, I'm in the forward... Uh, I'm in the forward bunker. Tell you what, actually, I would like a... I'd like a go on that machine gun. Thank you. Oh, it's just too good. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, I am slightly conflicted shooting British soldiers, but, you know. Now, do reinforcements spawn in? Because look at this. There's barely any British soldiers left, which basically means they've lost. Okay, also, I want to try the... Uh, let's try a grenade, actually. Let's get right up in there. There's still quite a lot of guys down there. How far does this throw? Does that throw far enough? Ah! Okay, so now we can really see. There's not many British soldiers left. In fact, actually, sorry, are those Canadians now? Those are the Canadians. Yeah, the Brits have all but all but lost this. There's one guy per one of these uh, platoons, essentially. It's not looking good for them. I'll tell you what we could do for them. Let's soften the Germans up. Let's pause the battle and let's call in a bunch of artillery. Like on every single square here. This is what, like about 20 artillery strikes? So uh, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. Some of them are exploding 
exploding in the sky and the game is a little bit confused with the amount of artillery I have spawned in here. So let's let's save and quit. This game's gonna have mods at some point as well, which I cannot wait for. Hopefully there'll also be some vehicles. It's definitely got the framework for that. So this is the town uh, in which I believe needs to be defended. That uh, would make a lot of sense. And then there's two bridges over this town with bunkers either side of them. So with that logic in mind, then I suppose the German spawn is all the way up here. Yes, it is. There we go. So build menu. Again, I would like to see more assets in here, but it's a great start. Let's get a machine gun nest there. Maybe there as well. Then we can get some small wooden bunkers, I suppose. We just want to make sure that it's going to be absolute pain and misery for the Germans to get in here. Let's get down some sandbags. Oh, and this one looks nice. I've not used this one before. This is, I guess, just yet another machine gun position. Yeah, so as you can see, this was an unsuspecting town, and now it's actually, well, it's got machine gun nests and barbed wire lining the entire thing. This is going to be a nightmare for the Germans to attack. Now, we're also going to stick down a lot of mines. Bruh. Okay, I think that should just about do it for the minefields. And I think I'm happy with the defensive structure that I've put down. So what we're going to do is we're going to start recording troop movements. Now, hopefully I do this right this time. So let's, um, let's again, let's make this like a British, um, a British Canadian kind of defense. Yes, here we go. The boys are moving into position again. I just, I love the aesthetic of the game. It's got the potential to be one of the biggest battle simulators of 2023. I think it maybe just needs a little bit more content and some polishing, but I suppose that will all come as a result of introducing mods to the game, which is part of the roadmap. So Rising Front, it is a, it's a game to look out for. Yo, boys, why are you, why are you, why are you, uh, you could go inside the bunker. Just a thought. I don't know. Oh my god, no, you didn't just blow yourself up on a mine. I don't believe it. You, what have you, why? Why are you in the minefield? So, what I can now do, if I slow this down, I'm gonna spawn in literally just loads of them. Mmm, I've got a problem with clicking the buttons too many times. Maybe actually, I don't know. I don't know, that's okay. Execute orders. Oh my god. It's like Snake. Yeah, this is gonna be quite a lot of units, um, it turns out. Yeah, I'm just amazed this game works as well as it does with, with unit sizes and scales of this. I suppose what I could do is I could soften up their lines by calling in some artillery, right? I suppose that's fair. One per four squares. And let's see if that actually does anything. Oh, I tell you what, actually, it has done something. Oh, it destroyed his building, but uh, he doesn't appear to respond to, you know, physics. You know, he's happy where he is. Those Germans are about to come pouring down the hill it's about to get very messy, lads. I know you've got some pretty good defenses there, but um, are they good enough to stop this? That's the question. I'll tell you what, actually, I want to get involved. Okay, it turns out I'm deploying as a British unit. Look, this guy's got a lovely little hole in the wall. I'd like to use that hole in the wall, thank you. Oh my god, it's... I am not sure if we're going to win this one, actually, if I'm being totally honest with you. Let's see, can I get on the machine gun? I want the machine gun. Oh my god. Uh, well, I guess I spectate the battle instead, then. Yeah, the Germans are doing a lot better than I thought they were gonna do. I really thought they were all gonna die. I mean, to be fair, some of them are about to hit the mine field, which should be funny. Come on, lads. Step on the mines. Step on the mines. Somebody step on a mine, please. They're dodging the mines. That was not nearly as, um satisfying as I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. One stepped on a mine. But yeah, as you can see, as I zoom out on the battlefield here, it didn't seem particularly difficult for the Germans. I mean, they did take a lot of casualties, but the Brits have actually, interestingly, the Brits have actually started falling back. The Harlem fighters back here have started falling back into like rear positions here. That's actually quite cool. So when the AI feels overwhelmed, they start taking up rear positions. But yeah, look at these lads over here. They're like, they're defending their campsite. Yeah, the Germans are actually swarming the town. Yeah. Uh, should we do some chaos? Let's do some chaos. Let's just get like a bunch of like German and uh, allied artillery right in the middle here. Okay, let's see if this does anything. Does the artillery kill any soldiers? I'll tell you what, it's coming close. It's, ah, there we go. We got a couple of kills. The explosive radius on it is not that large to be fair. I don't believe it. These guys are going to be the only ones left after this artillery barrage. Well, the Germans have captured the position. Um, so, I mean, it looks to me like the Germans are winning. But there are still some Entente soldiers in here to Defending. There's a little bit of an RAF incident there. There's a- Oh! I'm gonna take control. For some reason, the Harlem fighter has a car 98. Let's see if I can win this battle all on my own. Oh. Oh my! Yep. Okay. Uh, have I got a grenade? Excellent. Let's, um, oh, please. Ah! Yeah, it looks like that might be a German victory. So make sure you check out Rising Front on Steam, and if you haven't already subscribed, then why not? Go do it.